Hey guys! Oh my god, it's like so rare that I ever miss a week filming, but I missed last week because I was in Vail skiing with my family and um, I was actually going to film in my room, but I brought like my camera and my um, laptop and everything, but I got sick at the end of the trip, like at the second to the last day, so it just wasn't going to happen. Um, so I'm back now and I had a really good time skiing. If you guys haven't been blocked on Instagram, you're able to see my skiing skills and my, um, my skiing looks too, which I loved. Um, anyway, um, I'm going to show you guys like a few things like that. Anyway, today we're talking about like the shit from the store mostly, and I'm not going to like divulge too much into the store because you guys know about the store. Like if I say the store, you know the store. Like I'm not going to tell you what store it is because we know about the store. I will tell you like details about the store. Other stores I will tell you because it's like, this is the thing you guys know. If I have already mentioned where I fucking got it, I just don't like to say it a million times. Like also it's not difficult. I'm not like buying some like relic from like Egypt in like, you know what I mean? That you're like, I don't know where the hell she would get that. Like, you know what I mean? It's very simple to find things with Google nowadays, like, unless you're just like the laziest person on the face of the planet, and that's pretty much what it comes down to, okay? So, anyway, I have a lot of things to show you guys, and I'm really excited. Um, basically, you guys know when I show you things that like hauls or whatever, it's not like everything is very thoughtful. I don't buy things unless I really, really, really love them. I don't share things with you guys unless I really, really love them. I don't sell things unless I really, really like love them and want them for myself and like design them for myself. You know what I mean? So when I do these hauls, they like, actually, that's a thing. It's like, that's one of the reasons why I'm like so protective over like, like telling you guys shit because I, I really do put a lot of effort and like, it is me. Like all this stuff means a lot to me because I don't just like go to Target. You know what I mean? Like a lot of these, like people on like, you not no hate on this at all. It's just everyone does their own shit and like, I'm all for that. Like everyone should just do whatever the fuck they want in life. Okay. But like people who just like go to Target, like, oh, I got this, like Target, TJ Maxx, like, eh. like, you know what I mean? Like it's very like not thoughtful, but the stuff that I buy, I feel like is like more thought out. Like it's not like a dime a dozen, like probably is, but like it's more specific. Okay. I'm not like tuning my own horn. I just have a very specific taste and that's like reasons why like I will have like something that I don't love for like a million years because I don't want to like I to replace it. Like it's like it has to really be amazing. You know what I mean? So things that I buy I have for a long time. All right. Anyway, shut up. Like, why that doesn't fucking matter? I'm I'm already exhausted from this video to be honest. Okay. I'm um this is one of the things I want to show you guys. I got new cups. Okay. We have like a lot of things to discuss. Um, I'm drinking my espresso like I always do. Hmm. Not always, but you guys know when I drink my espresso, I like to drink them from like my crystal glasses. Um, okay, it's not like, and I'm so bougie. Like, no, it's not. It's just like, I love a moment. Like, it's, it really matters to me. Like, things like that matter to me. Like, I don't, I told you, I'd rather eat from like a paper cup and like, like, like a throwaway spoon than like buy utensils and, and cups and whatever that I don't love just because I need them. You know what I mean? Like, things, like moments matter, like things that I buy really matter, like what I do matters, like where I go, like where I sit, like matters, like I'm fucking weird like that, okay, like I'm not weird, like it is what it is, like you're fucking weird if you're not like that, okay, hi, <laughs> fucking all over the place today, you guys, today like, I did not know what to do, um, like I have so many rants to talk about, like I have so many things I want to like speak about, like shit that happened, like you know, like in my day to day, like I have notes about like like, I already went over, like, the Cheesecake Factory thing with you guys, like, on live. Like, a lot of you guys are blocked, so you probably wouldn't see it. But, like, um, I've already, like, talked to you guys. I feel this shit like that that happened. Like, this fucking, at my hotel, something really fucking annoying happened to me. Like, I'm actually a little bit shocked about it. Like, to this day, I, I, this, I'm not the kind of person that complains to the manager. Like, I don't do that. I'm not, like, do I look like a rabbi right now? You know what I mean? Like, the things. Gotta be careful, because I don't want to look like it old rat like male you know like a like a man okay um so um what was i saying oh yeah like I, i'm not the kind of person that complains up to a manager because i really feel like um the, on this slinky shirt these necklaces turn around and the clasp will come down here this is the shirt is so like slidey okay um because i I don't, I believe in karma a lot. Like I believe in like karma a lot. Like what, go, it's not even like karma. It's what goes around, comes around. Like it always happens. Like I swear to God, this is the thing. Like if I was to, if I was to find five, if I was to see someone drop a $5 bill and not give it back to them, even though of course I would, 100% within the next couple of weeks, something would happen where 
something regarding $5 would either go missing or I'd lose $5. Something would happen. It always happens. Like, I, always, okay? So I highly believe that. And I just don't like being a tattletale. I'm not a tattletale. I'm not like a Mrs. Kravitz. I'm not like a nosy bitch, like fucking white trash here on YouTube bar. I'm just not like that. I stay in my own lane. And by the way, I'm white, so I can say white trash, okay? Yeah, I can say fucking white trash. I'm fucking white, okay? Um, so I'm not like a nosy bitch. I like talk about myself. I don't talk about other people. Um, I'm not really gonna get into that. Like, I don't want to even get into like garbage. I don't want to get into like people who are like nothing who try to use my name to get views. Um, I specifically don't want to get like, you know what really is like the worst thing about like certain people in life is, um, it's like such a subtle cringe. It is when people like, like really like take their title seriously and like put it by their name. Like I'm a fashion designer. I'm an influencer. I'm a nutritionist. And they like, they actually really feel powerful from that. You're a fucking loser. Like to be honest, you're a fucking loser. Especially when you, no one solicits your advice and you go and you talk about like, what you think as if you're fucking God or the president or someone solicited your advice. You're a fucking loser. You're garbage. You're ugly, to be honest. And, um, that's just the truth. But like, I would never like, that's why like me, I can honestly say like, I'm a jewelry designer. Um, like I'm, I have like, I have, what am I? I'm like, I have a master's degree. I have an undergrad, like in this, this, and this, like, am I supposed to like fucking say that? Like I have an MS, you know, a master of science. Like, am I supposed to say that? Like, I mean, like I would never in a million years, I am like, I have friends who are doctors, who are surgeons, actually, she doesn't watch my channel anymore, but who, who does not speak of it because you are so cringe if you go around and like, that's what you do. I am this, I do this. Like, I'm so important. I'm so smart. Like it is so disgusting and cringe, like gross. You're gross and you're embarrassing. And I would never even like, if I, I would like walk past you on the streets, like, like that kind of like, ugh, you know what I mean? Anyway, I hate that kind of person so much. Like someone that takes their title seriously when they're not solicited. Like no one solicited your advice. I especially did not even fucking know the fuck you are. Like you're kind of person, like the way you like look and act, like I would never in a million years ever approach you. Like I have no interest, like, excuse me. Like, okay. Um, anyway, so I'm getting like emails like fucking crazy. Okay, one more thing before I'm telling you. Okay, I'm like blinking. All right, here we go. I'm getting emails like crazy because you guys are really taking advantage of um, I'm itchy. My nose is fucking itchy. I know you got your own coke. Like, no one's fine. I've never, never done drugs in my whole life. Like, I, I feel like if I itch my nose in front of you guys, these fucking morons, like, oh my god, she's on coke. Like, that's how she got skinny. Yeah, bitch, I am that skinny. Like, I'm so skinny. You guys think I'm on, I'm on coke. Like, good. I'm actually happy. Like, awesome. Okay. Um, anyway, before I go, I'm not, nah, I'm itching again. Fuck. Ugh, it's a fucking flu. I'm like peeling. She's fucking horrible. Okay. Um, I want to tell you guys about the stocking stuffers really quick. Okay, so January 6th is the last day for you guys to take advantage of these stocking stuffers. I'm wearing um, some, you guys are absolutely loving the rings, but um, these are ridiculous. They're solid sterling silver with CZs and they legitimately, they look and feel like the real thing. Like they look and feel like the real thing. They are absolutely ridiculous. And okay, so um, this is the um, glitter belt, which I'm just dead over. It's so sick. Okay, anyway, they're all sick. But so these stocking stuffers, a lot of the styles, are, um, I haven't decided which styles. I'm going to completely take off the line so they won't even be available anymore. Um, either they're going to be taken down or their prices are going to jump. Some of them drastically. I think these are like 80 or something, um, but they'll be like 120 ish. And don't quote me exactly on the price because I want to fucking hear it. Oh my God, $120, but really like 125. Like just stop. Like, oh my God. Okay. Like, I'm just saying like approximately. Okay. I'm not exactly sure, but they're going to jump drastically. We'd like, fuck, like I should have done that. So January 6th, your last time to get the stocking stuffers at a ridiculously good price or even get them at all. Just warning you now, because that's what emails, you guys are like really um, shopping them right now, which is good too, because I am really limited, actually getting limited on some, some of the sizes that I, I did for this run. So, um, I need to like do more, you know what I mean? But we're going to be sold out soon. I think we are sold out in certain sizes. All right. Anyway, I'm going to get into this now. Um, I have a lot of shit to show you guys. I'm just going to get into it. Like, I'm, I'm not going to get into it. Do we like my hair? Like I have so much shit to talk to you guys about, but like, I don't know if we like, are we done with these like rants where I sit around and talk? Like, 
to be honest, like I just really wanted to do that today, but I also have a lot of shit to show you. And when I do accumulate a lot of things, I'm like happy and excited to show you guys. Like I have to actually want to show you guys stuff and to, um, I, I would never just like phony put shit together and be like, oh, that's what I got. I'm like, let's like show me like my Zara haul, show you a Target haul. Like, my God, like ugh, there's more to life than fucking Target and like Zara, which I fucking hate Zara now. Like I never go there. It's so gross. Mm. That's all good to this. Okay. So to be honest, you guys, you guys know I've never been like super um, girly dresser. Like I don't wear like frilly dresses and like peplum. I don't even know fucking what shit means. Like I wear, I wear very um, minimal like cut clothes and like classic clothes. I hate this shirt for this reason because I don't like when these fucking turn and it's just like, it's just slinky. Okay. Um, I don't like dress too girly. Of course I dress like, you know, I have girly, like, like you know, like hip hip parts to it and pieces to it but for the most part like I dress very unisex and I feel like for a long time forever I've been like that it's just how I am and I love unisex vibes it's like my thing like I love it like I love it but I've gotten to a little bit even deeper now with it where like I've fucked around in the men's section before like I I have like many times like I love I love men's shirts you guys know that like my you know my DOC and all that kind of stuff it's always been like men's like it's always like men's vibe like I love that um anyway but now I just cannot stand like the store okay I'm not saying the store I'm gonna say the store right now just because no one's gonna get it or the store is Urban Outfitters okay now shut up that's it I'm not saying it ever again don't ever make me say it again okay um so I cannot stand the women's section at the store anymore like. It is so ugly. There's like nothing there. It's gross. Like, and I'm like, why do certain, like, why do I love going there? Why do I love going to the store? Like, I just love going to the store. And I've realized the majority of the reason I love going to the store is because of the things that I find in the men's section. And I was like, they're at the store. Like I cut, it's kind of easy to like look over it. Like the men's section is like on one side and the women's section is on the other at the specific one I go to. So I'll be like, oh, that's a cute hoodie. Or it's like, like cute, like printed tee. Like I like that. So I kind of merge over there, but I like didn't realize that like, I don't like the women's section at all. Like it's very rare that I buy things from the women's section at the store, but I love the men's section of the store. So I've been like specifically primarily going there for that. I mean, they do have like cute, actually like tight shirts and stuff at the girl, in the girl's area. Um, all right, shut the fuck up. Like I can't stand my voice. Like shut up. I don't care. Like you're annoying me I'm talking too much. Before I talk about the store, what I got there, I'm gonna show you guys this. So Judy got this for me for Christmas. Uh, okay. It's, um, my eyes are blinking. It's Baccarat, it's gorgeous. And they are little cups. Um, like they are, I think they're shot glasses to be honest, but she knows that I drink like my espresso out of crystal. So it is like the most perfect gift ever. How fucking cute is this? It is the, it, to me, it's weird. And you guys know, I love weird shit. Like this is something I feel like I would design. Two crystal glasses, like they're absolutely gorgeous as background on the inside, um, on a lucite tray. Like it's just the most like weird, random thing. The color of it is absolutely gorgeous. Like it's so like rich and bougie. It's like so background. Um, but I just love it. It's just like the weirdest shit. I love like really weird shit. Like, like not, you guys know, I have to have things that no one else has. I know I have that. No, you don't have it. Shut up. Just stop. Okay. You don't fucking have it. Um, I think it's cute. It's something that I would like, if I were for background, I would like approve this. Okay. <laughs> I just love it. Like, I think it's really fucking cute. And, um, if I was like really rich or like really rich people, I'd probably like have this and like have like a whole tea, not tea, but like, like food set around. I can just imagine the vibe of this, like at a rich person's house. And just, just, the, just the vibe. I just love it. It's like very, very cool. It's just, it's like something that I like really love. Okay. So that's that. Um, I kept the sunglasses. Oh no, I'm going to go into the men's, the men's stuff. Okay. Let me show you guys some shit. No, I'm not going to yet. I just, I don't want it yet. Okay. Um, I kept my sunglasses. You guys know that, um, these are Gucci. I'm really into sunglasses right now. I, um, use like crazy sunglasses because I'm not fat anymore. You guys, to be honest, um, I, because it's really funny when you guys DM me, like if I get like, if I see like a, like a DM from above, when you guys like DM to me above, like I can see our conversation. Sometimes it's like a conversation we haven't had in like a year. And so I'll see like something you responded to, like a deep, like a 
um, an Insta story of mine. You guys, I was a fucking cow. Like, I don't care what you say. Please stop it. And like, I don't care. If you're fat out there, don't be offended by this. This is my fucking channel. By the way, you guys are really fucking lucky. Like, I am so cool to you. I actually am honest, honest as fuck with you. Like, I don't lie. I don't pussyfoot around. I'm not like, like, I, I don't like, like, try to seek, like, um, drama. I don't, like, tell you, like, lies about what I do in my life. Like, if I was a fucking cunt, I could be like, this is what I do. I exercise every day and I make grilled chicken, broccoli, and um, white uh, brown rice, and I drink an orange juice um, from the oranges in my backyard for dinner. Okay, like, I mean, I could fucking do that. Like, everyone fucking does, okay? I could fucking lie as fuck to you guys and just be like, oh yeah, I'm skinny because I like go to Soul Cycle every day. I'm like, so, like that. Like, fuck all of you who are like shaming me for like just not for like. I'm not telling anyone out there with you. I'm like being, this is my fucking diary. Fuck you bitches, okay? Fuck you, all right? Because I am honest, I should be getting accolades as fuck, okay? Because I'm not a lying fucking bitch. Like the majority of the fucking Instagram people out there, people on Instagram, these fucking influencers I also fucking hate. Like influencers need to stop this year. Like, I'm sorry, bitch. If you're not fucking Kiara, if you're not Trisha fucking Paytas who's making bank, okay? from your YouTube channel, you're a fucking loser. I'm a loser too. I'm not trying to be an influencer. I'm on here because I've been doing this for how long? Fucking probably like 10 years. And it started by accident. Like go to my fucking first channel. Like it just all started by accident, okay? We're not like trying to do this. Um, I don't have like, you know, it just happened. My jewelry line just happened. Like it just fucking happened. And um, if, if, if you're actually like, not 16 and trying to make a YouTube channel, you're a fucking loser, okay? Like, by the way, I do that to people in the car. I don't like to give the middle finger in the car because I feel like it's really like white trash and I don't like you white trash. Um, my God, not again. I can't stand the shirt. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna burn the shirt, it's not cute, okay? Um, I do this to people because it's just like so outrageous. Like, uh, people are like, what? <laughs> I'm like, you're a fucking loser. <laughs> I fucking love doing that to people because it's just like so random. Um, but what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, you're a fucking loser. Like if you're actually trying to get paid, like bitch, I make like what, $100, we're gonna make like $300 a month max or something, $200 from fucking monetization. Like it's nothing, who cares? Like bit these bitches out here are trying to like grow their channels. Like you get paid nothing, like stop. Get a fucking job, like get a real job. You're pathetic, okay? God damn. Anyway, um, on to the next. I want to show you guys some bougie candles. Okay, so the candles really matter to me because the cheap candles, I know everyone like loves the cheap candles and like I admit that like I bought the holiday candle, one of them like, or like the, the pumpkin, no, mm, banana, I don't know, some shit from fucking Bath and Body Works just because I couldn't find one that I really liked um, that was fun. Like I understand going to Bath and Body Works because things are like fun, but they never smell good when they burn. Like which, you can burn them like one time and then it'll still stink like shit. So basically you're like paying for one time use candle in my honest, in my opinion. Whereas if you buy expensive candles, they burn well, okay? And they don't smell fucking trash. You like, you like their house smells cheap. Like people who you put my name in their title, that their houses smell like that for sure. Like it's like, it smells like trash, like garbage, okay? Like it's just people like that's like that, the, that's the vibe and like we don't do that. Um, so I, these candles are expensive. Um, but I'm going to show them to you because I really love them. I don't, can't, I can't pronounce some more shit. This one I got as a gift. Um, I know this is like really bougie. It's the Bredo tree house. And I'm dead over it. And she got it for me because she said, because my house is like the tree house. And it smells so fucking good. I don't even want to burn it. It's so bougie. Like if I ever created a candle, it would be as simple as this. Like sim simple as, simple as key. People don't get it. Like, of course they don't. No one gets the vibe. It's very difficult to get the vibe. Like, ugh. okay. Um, the next thing is this one. It's a classic candle. These have been around from six, since 1643. Like you guys know, I'm all about like old original kind of things and I'm not going to pronounce it because I just can't and we know the brand okay just stop it I don't know and by the way can I tell you something so annoying like I'm so annoyed by this because I told you guys I've told you so many times like not to do this I if I if don't fucking tell people where I get shit like I was so annoyed first of all they're not from there I said I'm getting it I'm getting it I'm getting the fucking thing because I'm just I'm sick of it dude can I just fucking leave me alone no I can't that's it. I'm just, I'm done with you. Like, 
can, can I have anything for myself without you guys just like trying to be like so like nosy Mrs. Kravitz? Like just stop. Like let me have the vibe. So I got these fucking trees. There's this AB one and I got two pink ones. And I got them from a store. Like literally from, I'm not even being like a bitch. I'm glad I got them from a fucking store near my house. It's not, I don't even know the name. Like I don't know the name. It's like a mom and pop store, okay? Like it's in somewhere that no one would know. Like if you, you like, I don't know. I don't fucking even know the name of the store. There's no name on here at all. There's no fucking name on here at all. There's a price tag and there's a barcode. Seven, five, I hate people did it too. Oh my God. So you know people ask me for like the fucking serial numbers on my sunglasses? Like bitch, you're serious? I'm gonna sit here and read serial numbers. Seven five zero three three nine nine four. Does that fucking help you? I don't know. It's fifty two dollars. Like, I don't fucking know. Some bitch. So some someone was like going crazy on my Instagram. Where'd you get the trees? 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 Ask me someone got the trees. Got the top trees. 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 Finally, some bitch. Like I, I'm not, obviously not responding. Like I told you guys, I don't know. I got it from a store. I'm not telling you guys where I get everything. Like we know the rule. Like if I want to tell, I'll tell you. If we don't, shut up. But don't ask me. Um. So someone was like, like. 12 days later, like, like yesterday, she commented, like, she did this brand. Okay, sorry. I had to, like, delete clips from my camera. It was full. Um, I mean, I, I forgot where I was going with that. But basically, like, she, like, said it was from some, like, company. She's like, they're this. Like, they're from here. Like, they're, or the company name is this. Like, really? How is that? How is that the case? Like, there's nothing on here. There's not one fucking logo. There's nothing. They're from a fucking store. Like, I just, I don't like... I don't like Miss Kravitz. I don't like busybodies. Don't be a busybody. Shut up. Like, we already know the rule here. Do your, just stop, okay? Like, such like a teacher's pet. Oh my God, teacher's pet. Oh, that's what it is. I look at epiphany. Teacher's fucking pets. Stop. I hate those people. Ugh, the worst. Okay, um, oh, by the way, of course I'm wearing my, um, lipo leggings. And I just like knocked over the whole house and like stuff out. You hear that? And I'm fucking sniffing. It's horrible. I know. I'm like sick. Um. Anyway, really quick, just like a PSA about the lipo leggings. So uh, you guys know I'm coming out with um. They're gonna be slightly different, okay? So if you like the way they are right now, I would be ordering like your you the ones you love, okay? Like the what like I honestly need to stop this, right? Like it's getting annoying. I know, but like I really hate that. Um. Okay. Um, because I'm going to be slightly changing them, like the fit a little bit. Um, I'm also going to be adding new color combos. Very, very soon we're working on it. Like they're actually going into production very soon. This, after this new year, like probably now, today, tomorrow. Well, the colors. Okay. Anyway, stop. Okay. So I'm just saying, I'm, I want to warn you guys because I'll talk about the fit and stuff. Um, I'm going to shorten them a little bit and, um, just anyway, I, I'll talk about it later, but I just wanted to warn you. Um, I wear these legitimately basically every day. I have like multiples, multiples of them. They are amazing. I'll put the link below. Okay. My lipo leggings and the lipo top too. It's amazing. Okay. All right. So uh, anyway, I'm going to go on and talk about this, uh, this. Yeah. Okay. So <clears throat> this one is a, just a holiday edition. So this brand doesn't come out with new scents. I think, I think it's just like they have their like don't quote me. I just don't have, I've never seen any, I think different than the sense that I've seen out. Okay. Everyone's gonna be like, okay, great. I don't care. Um, this one is, I'm gonna hold it up there. A B D L K D E R. Okay. I know it's like something like bougie sounding and I'm going to be like sounding like white trash. Okay. But I don't know how to fucking pronounce it. Um, so I like that this one, I always get this scent, but I noticed they had for holiday Christmas, they had this, my favorite scent in a white votive, which was like so lucky because I don't really, I hate colors. Depends, depending, depending. I love color when it's done correctly and it's done purposefully and meaningful. For example, the tray for my crystal, this is Baccarat red. Okay. Like there's a reason for it. Okay. Like there's a reason. It's not just like, oh, purple. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know, whatever. Okay. So, um, well, I don't know. Shut up. I've had this one a million times in like this, the regular, like traditional green photo that they do. It's like a very bougie, like Rolex green color, but over there I have three of them actually. Um, these are all expensive, but you guys are like worth it. I'm going to try to find links for you because like you guys need these fucking candles. Um, 
And um, yeah, no, I, should, I should talk about something right now. Um, the next one I talk about is this one. This is from Jonathan Adler. This is actually on sale. It was a gift, but it's on sale now. Um, it's the holiday candle. You guys know I love Jonathan Adler. I've always, Jonathan Adler like is just someone or a designer who I feel like always pushes the envelope a little bit. Like when he came out with his pill stuff, a while ago, he's always on weird shit. I saw on his like Instagram, people like giving him shit. Did you know about the, uh, what is that? O opioid, I can, uh, ugh, why is this doing this? Opioid epidemic in the US. Like people just like have such sticks up their fucking asses, man. Like I can't fucking stand it. <laughs> Shut up. Like I can't even, that, that happened to me too. Like I did like the DOC. Did you know how many people are put in jail every year? I did the pill thing too, I did the pill bracelet. I hope you an epidemic, like, shut the fuck up. It has nothing to do with that. I love Jonathan Adler, okay? Um, I love him, and he better never fucking stop pushing the envelope because that's why I love him, like, he's fucking sick. Anyway, he's amazing. I love his fucking designs. Like, that's Jonathan Adler. These are Jonathan Adler. I love Jonathan Adler. Like, I got more Jonathan Adler stuff for Christmas. Like, my lamps, I got this fucking sick lamp that's coming, guys. Vase that you guys will see later. I don't want to talk about it. I'll show you the vase. It's the Bel Air vase and it's purple. Um, big blue side piece with his signature on the bottom. It's like bougie as fuck. And it looks really gorgeous next to my um, clear cartel lamp. It like just they, like looks so good. It's like perfect, especially when the light's on. It's like amazing, okay? So I love this. So anyway, the next candle I want to talk about is this candle. And I actually don't know like who produces this, like where it's produced. I don't know if it's like French. I don't know. Maybe product of France, yeah. Okay, and this is the best. Out of all the candles in the world, in the world, this is my favorite one. And it's really hard for me to come I to come across it. Like I don't know where to find it, to be honest. And um it's a spiritual by Bougie Apothecary Mad et Len. I don't know what I don't know if the brand is Bougie Apothecary. I don't know if the brand the, the brand is Mad et Len. Mad et Len. I don't fucking pronounce it, okay? But it is the best. I love minty scented scented candles. Like anything with like a mint, I love it. But this one, they just do it the best. All of these, this one is minty, this one's minty, and then the tree ones are like cedar and pine, which I love too. So um, those are like scents that I love for candles. They're not like, I don't really love like girly, floral, sweet. I like like actual scents. Like, like I know what that is. You know what I mean? Like I get it. Like not, what is that fucking smell? I don't like that. Like I need to know what it is. <laughs> I hate when the fucking things turns. Are we over it? I'm not over it. Okay. Then I'm going to, um, talk about these scents too. So I got this very expensive um, Baccarat Rouge 540, which a lot of you guys love and have. <clears throat> but I'm sick, okay, you can tell. Um, I got this one, Fresh Cream by Philosophy, because I love to like fuck around in, um, like if I'm having a bad day or I'm just like nothing fucking do, and I'm just like, we're gonna like spend some money, like being be stupid. I love to go to like Ulta, and I just like love to like buy something. You know what I mean? Just like, I don't know, just fuck around. So I was in there and I just like, I feel like Ulta is the most basic bitch place ever, but I like love to, like, I like, I like love basic shit too, like Too Faced, you know, like that kind of basic shit, which I don't even have any of it. I'll go like look, if there's something cute, then I'll like always like never buy it, like no, this is like too, Alex is so cheesy, like you're gonna like be so pissed when you get home and you see this ugly shit on your desk, like you're like no. So, um, except wait till you see what I bought. <laughs> okay. Um, so I love this, this fresh cashmere. I got the holiday Christmas set. It came with this and the small one and it was less expensive than just buying this alone. It was amazing. It was on sale. So I got like the whole thing and I love it. I love it. Like, I love it. I think it's a great alternative. Like if you're not going to spend, this is like $300 or something. Like I, this is nice. It's more like smelly though. Like it's kind of smelly. Like, I don't actually love it as much as I love this. To be honest, like, no, Baccarat. I'm not trying to smell like, like, fresh. Like, I'm not trying to smell like sweet, like a sweet pastry and perfume. Like, I actually don't like you anymore. I like this because this one smells just like that. It smells like cream. Yeah. It's called Fresh Cream Warm Cashmere. Don't like the warm cashmere part. It just smells like whipped cream. It's, like, very cute. And, like, I just, like, want to spray it, okay? Like, I think it's cute. So... 
I don't know. I like that. Okay, then I got this. Okay, I got this from a store. You already know where the store is. Don't ask me if I fucking got it, okay? So I was buying like gifts for my niece and nephew. I was at the store, actually. I was just gonna give them money. Like, the kids are like young and I already like, <clears throat> like I didn't know how to bring presents with me and shit, but I had no idea. I was like, I wanna, I love being the aunt like that gives gifts. Cause I remember I like, I don't, like growing up, to be honest, like kids don't like love grandparents, right? Like, well, it's like, we don't, we don't love grandparents. Like, I didn't have like, I don't wanna talk about it, okay? Um, so. I just loved the grandparents or the aunts and uncles, the old aunts and uncles who brought like a gift or brought like chocolates or something. I was always like excited to see them. Like kids don't, kids are cute and stuff, but they like, it's, they don't like love adults, right? I don't know. Okay. So I always want to be the, I always like, always want to bring gifts. Like I want to be that like person who like, I just love that. I remember when I was a kid, like I had this, this one like gross uncle. He wasn't even like related to us, but he always brought us a huge Hershey bar, huge, like one of those ones like that are like a dollar, but they're huge, you know what I mean, from like CVS. And I always remember that. I always look forward to that fucking stupid Hershey bar because it's kind of extra. And I was just like, thank you, like, yay. Like, you know, I don't know. And so anyway, I bought them like some shit. I bought them, um, I don't have kids, obviously. I bought my niece the Hatchimals, which was kind of good. It was kind of like impressive. They were impressed. It took a little while to like hatch. And then I bought my little nephew, Beckett. Um, I bought him a wa like a VTech watch. Cause, like it looks like an eye, eye, an eye watch to match my brother. My brother has like an eye watch. So that was like, you know, like your daddy's. And then I bought him a Polaroid camera. And I was like, um, what's the ones like, like a, the camera from the nineties that you buy at CVS? Like the, the one that you just like take pictures and you like, throw, like get it developed. So I thought it'd be fun. Like, okay, I just bought him like some gifts. And then I bought her this. <laughs> I bought Alessandra, my other, my other niece with the Hatchimals. I bought her this too. And it's a little light. And when you light it, I, I don't have a battery in here because I need to get a screwdriver that's small and put it, whatever. When you turn it on, you can see the boba. The, okay, the, the bobas are dark. And the light that, when it lights up, it like makes it, it glows. So you see the boba inside because they're dark. You know what I mean? It's really fucking cute. And I like light stuff. I love, I love like moody lights. And I'm probably gonna use this once and like give it put, give it to my mate, my mate. Like I don't know. I like it. It's cute. I have like stupid shit. I love my little ponies. Like you guys know that. Like ugh, I'm exhausted. Um, I don't know. It's cute. I love like cute shit. I love like Sanrio. I love like '80s My Little Pony. I love I love that kind of shit. Like it's so cute. Um, I love anything like that. Rainbow Bright. It's like I don't know. Okay. <sighs> well, all right. Are we talking about food right now? We are. I also love international foods. We know this. This is and like, ugh, I can't do this right now. I just, I always have to like project what you're going to say because I can't be there for the rebuttal. You know what I mean? So it's like when I post this and then like the bitch ass rebuttals come, like comments come in. I'm like, ah, I would, I should have said that. You know what I mean? Okay. So I always have, I you haven't said it yet, but I know you're thinking about it. So I'm going to say it. Okay. All right. These. I understand, are ready, readily available. You can get them fucking anywhere. You can get them at TJ Maxx even. I get it. I know. It's not the point, okay? They are pink. I know, you see, I have them every year, right? Okay, but they're pink, and I want to put them in a dish, but I don't have, like, a pretty dish, actually. I like the packaging, the box, the bag, more than I like the color of these. Like, they're not the right color, to be honest. They're a little bit darker. Um... I tried one yesterday and um, they don't taste exactly like the original ones. This is made with ruby cocoa beans. Um, the outside is pink like this, but it doesn't, what's a ruby cocoa bean? They, they put some strawberry flavor. There's something different in there. It's a little bit, I mean, it's fine, but I wish I would have only on one bag instead of two. Next thing I'm gonna talk about, so I have this bougie, um, do you guys remember when I took, okay. I'm gonna bring something up. I have, a, I go to this bougie supermarket next to my house um, just because I, I hate going to Ralph's, I told you guys. Like Ralph's and like Whole Foods have do not have it under control with these like homeless people going in there and like opening up foods and like, did you guys see there was like a fucking article about homeless people in New York going to the Whole Foods and like they can't even and like they're eating from like the hot serve like from like the salad bar the hot bar, and like they're not even allowed to tell them to leave and this guy goes in there every day and just like starts eating there and like they don't even tell him to leave like they can't apparently there's some like we, I don't know some like rule I don't fucking know, so I don't I don't know like I I. I don't know because like the homeless thing here in, in LA is really not, it's really fucking bad. Okay. Like it is getting worse and worse every day. Like I went to Vail, I came back and I was driving to my office downtown. The tents are even, they're expanded even more now. There's even more tents. It, it is out of control. And like, I don't understand why that is. 
when we are taxed so high here why they can't do something i don't understand i understand like we that we the policies that we have here make them want to come i understand it's horrible like it's just it's a big mess but even like it's just a mess okay so that's why i go to this bougie like supermarket here because I don't want to deal with that. Like, I don't, it's hard. Like, there's always, like, homeless people in the grocery store, like, just pick, rummaging through shit. It's like, what the fuck is going on? And then when I read articles, I'm like, I am not. Like, I don't even know. Anyway, so that's why, and I remember when I put my, that Instagram, Insta story up of those, um, those lean cuisines that were $5. Yeah, it's because of the bougie supermarket. Uh, Ralph's are usually, like, $2, $3, but, like, a lot of people are like, oh, my God, it's so expensive. Um, no, it's just because of that bougie fucking supermarket. It's so expensive, like anyway but i love the bougie supermarket because they have international foods they have a lot of weird like cool foods like those toasts i got and stuff and they always have something different and i love that you guys know that like i everything has to mean something even what i everything okay i don't know what it's like it has to okay so i saw these and um okay what's the brand i know that i'm, I'm curious where these are from italy okay they're from italy so all my Italian subbies out there, which I don't think I have too many of, V-E-R, Vergani, V-E-R-J-N-I, Bautino, chocolate, whatever, I can't read anything, dark chocolate filling with crunchy nugget filling. So what sold me on this, it was like sitting up on the shelf in like their New Year's section. I love like they have like New Year's, little sections. They have like, they have like a Halloween section sometimes, what is Halloween? They have like Christmas section, they have like, um, they, like, there's a big Jewish population in LA, obviously in Brentwood. So they have like Hanukkah section. There's always like a section. And I love to like see different things. Like I looked at, oh, like, you know, it's just, it just feels like I'm traveling. Okay. So this is so cute. Let me show you. I saw the little girl's face on this. It looked like a little Cupid. And I was like, I love nug nugget, nugget, nuga. And um, in like Greek, we could say nuga, I think. Okay. Um, and I love praline and dark chocolate. So I was so excited to get these home. I opened up the box and I want to show you guys inside. It's like so gorgeous. Look at this. Like, if I, oh my God, you guys know. Like I will never in a million years have a party in my house because I have no friends. Like we so we do, we don't have friends. Like I don't have friends by choice. Good, shut the fuck up. Okay, like if you, don't, if you don't know, you don't know. Like I don't want friends. I have, it's, I don't have a lot of friends. I don't want a lot of friends. Like I, I can handle like one friend, but then something always happens. Like I had a friend and she had to move back to New York. You know what I mean? Like. It's something that always happens. Like, I don't, it's too much for me to handle. Like, I has to fit or I cannot expo expend the energy. I just can't. Like, I'm too busy. I don't have time to take a shit, okay? Do you not remember that from last time? Okay, now, just please someone help them. Okay. Anyway, um, so I opened it up. And if I had a like, a party, you guys, I would have, oh my God, it'd be so cute. I would have, like, the best party because everything would be done just so, okay? But I just love this. I feel like this would be so nice to open up. It's like gold and it's shiny and it's like really pretty. I was just like, oh my God. I was like, ah, like it's so nice. Okay. So problem is I don't like them at all. Like there's um a citrus taste. There's something in here. If someone buy these, please, and tell me what it is. What is the taste? It's not just chocolate and nougat. It's nougat. Nougat? Nugget? I don't fucking know how we say it here. But I want to show you the little girl. There. Isn't she cute? And it's very like 1920s looking. It might be a man. Is it a man? Oh, is it like, a, I think it's a girl. I can't tell. She looks like an angel to me. Okay, so I like, I don't know what to do with these now. Probably give them my maid. <laughs> like, I don't know, because I don't like them. So these I need to find a, um, like a dish for, okay. Then let's go on to the talk about the store and like the, the um, men's clothing. So I, um, you guys, I'm still sick. I'm like, skin's crawling. Okay, um, let me talk with these. Okay, so I love, recently I love to do printed shirts. Like I love to do, you guys know, go, if you go follow my Instagram, you can see I always wear like my lipo leggings or like leggings, whatever. And um, my, like a specific shirt that I love from the store tied really tight like really tight like because i have like a waist as fuck now um and well for me um so shut up fucking some bitch is gonna like that she doesn't have a waist and do some video about it fucking cunt okay 
So let me just show you guys some of the shirts I got. Okay, so two of the shirts are not from the store. I'm gonna show you guys the store, but these are all, these are men, this is a men's shirt. I really love this and I wore this and it like, I just love it. I just love like wearing like weird shit. And you know who got me on this, to be honest, I'm gonna give credit where credit's due because I'm not kind of like that, is Alex, like my best, she's like my best friend, actually, it's like pathetic because she lives like so far away, but I just like love her to absolute death. And it's just so weird the way she lives in London because like I have no friends, but like we talk like almost every day. Like I love her, okay? Um, she has really, really amazing style and she's really, really, she's very fucking cool. She's the one who owns, she owns Elon Cafe. And, um, I just really, she's like, we just fit together and I'm not saying I'm jocking her style, but I've learned a lot from her. Like, I don't know. I really like, I, maybe I am a little bit. Am I? Maybe. Uh, yeah. Okay. Maybe I am. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to let you like, no. But I like, I like what she does. We don't have the same, I don't order the, I have the same things as her, but I have learned like when we should, we shopped a lot together and stuff and whatever. Okay. Shut up. So, um, anyway, so I love this shirt, um, tied with like yoga pants. It's like that. Well, she wouldn't like tie it ever that like that. She would never do it. She would wear it like loose or something. So we, we do way different things. Okay. And then, um, I have this pink Floyd one. This is actually girls from the store. And, um, you guys know, I really love like seventies rock bands. Okay. Then I went into, this is so embarrassing, but I don't give a shit. Like, I don't care. Like, I don't want to spend a lot of money on like clothes. I don't like to spend like hundreds of dollars on like actually like shirts because I like to spend them on accessories, glasses, shoes, and bags. Like that's where I spend the money and the, the clothes I feel like should be like not expensive. Okay. Um, oh, I should talk. I'll talk about that in a second. So I went to Sun. I don't know why, cause I saw they had like some graphic tees and they're having a big sale. So I got these two shirts in the men's section, so I really love. It says Dreamland, and it has horses on it, like white horses, like the song I like. So I, I like this. I haven't worn it yet. Um, and then I got this one, too. And they were like, buy one, get one, 50% off or something. This one is cool, too. I don't know what it is. Like, wolves. And it's like tie-dye. Okay? So that's what I've been wearing. I love these. And I get them in medium and large. Medium and largest. Usually mediums. Large depend, depends on the fit. Okay. Then, um, also, I just want to, like, give a shout-out to myself. Hey! Okay, um, I bought these kinds of shoes. I bought these big, clunky shoes, um, the triple S's. I bought these about, like, probably last year when I was fat still. Just because I really wanted to, like, be, like, I really wanted to wear them, like, like. By the way, when I'm saying this, you guys, I really, to honest to God, mean this, like, blinking. Because, like, when I blink, I get mad. Uh, when I'm mad, I get blink, I mean. Um, I really, honest to God, mean this, like. Just like the word skinny legend, skinny legend, you don't have to be skinny to be skinny legend. Like everyone's, if, if skinny legend is like a state of state of mind, okay? It's like a vibe, like shut the fuck up. And same with me being like, I'm skinny. Like it doesn't mean like, if you're like 300 pounds and you fucking rock it and you fucking like, like I don't judge actually. I don't like, I judge myself. You know what I mean? Like I really do because that's just what I'm comfortable with. I don't, I'm not like, oh my God, fat fucking bitch pig. Like that's what I do to myself. Like I would never do that to anyone. Like if you guys are like overweight, but you're like happy or whatever, or you're like in a process of losing weight, like that's you. Like, let me talk about myself. Like if you have these shoes and you're like big, good. Like, and you happy, fine. Like, you know what I mean? I hope you understand what I mean by that. Like, I'm not like, I hope you get what I mean. If you don't, then I don't fucking know Sam. I'm too exhausted. So anyway, I bought those shoes, those triple S's like last year when I was fat. I like never wore them because in my opinion, like it's my fucking channel. I'm like all stepped up. Um, you have to like be skinny to wear like these big, huge shoes or you just look like a fucking, I'm talking to myself. You just look like a cow. Like I just, just don't look good. Okay. But now they like really look good on me. I'm like so happy. I can like wear my shit. Like I just feel so on. Like I just love, like, I'm just so excited. Like no one can bring me down. Like, like the sky is blue and like the fucking clouds are like parted and like God is like shutting down light and I can like see like, <laughs> as I feel like I feel so happy. So I just like love to like get up in the morning, get dressed, and, like do my makeup and like feel on, like do my hair. And I just feel like fucking honest fuck. And I'm so much happier about like myself. You know what I mean? And it makes me just a happier person. Okay. So, um, anyway, I got these, um, these are Fendi and I just wanted, the shout out was that I love these clunky shoes. So I wear like the tied up men's shirt with like, um, my lipo leggings or I wear, get like, um, the men's, um, those, like I get men's track, track pants now too in a size like small cause they don't come extra small and it's the, the small men's track pants and I tie them with these big clunky shoes or my golden goose. Anyway. Yeah. 
So I just love them. I just, these are my, the Mew you guys know. Okay, I just want to kind of like give you a shout out. Like give myself a shout out and be like, hey, I'm wearing these now. It's just so you guys can know. All right, I'm going to talk about this as well. So there's like, Um, the next thing I'm going to talk about is, I'm going to talk about three more things, and these are all from the store. Okay, so let me talk about the Fendi jacket first. Let me tell you what happened. Do you want me, do you want me to go through the saga? I'm going to go through the saga, because it was a huge saga, and I, we had time, like, whatever. I just took me an hour long. So, okay, let me just tell you what happened. I ordered the medium, which you guys saw, if you haven't been blocked. Um, am I shiny? Over here a little bit. Um, also, just a little tip. If you're going to talk shit on me and do a video about, about me, please don't ever do it with a fucking disgusting lines like it looks like it it just looks like you're so just like wrinkled and aged from like like most haggard looking shit ever just don't because like it's just really disgusting just an FYI okay um just absolutely fucking putrid okay so um you know they're out of control all right so I wasn't talking about yeah okay the venti thing so let me just quickly go on what happened so I ordered the medium and you guys saw it in my Instagram like remember the insta live I was doing Sorry, Fendi jacket. So I ordered the medium. Um, it came, it was way too big. It was like, okay, this is the thing. I live in California and I want, I, I would, you guys know how I feel about clothes. I don't mind spending a lot of money on something, like a lot of money, if I'm gonna get a lot of use out of it. You know what I mean? Like a lot of use out of it. So um, I ordered it thinking I would just be able to replace like this big oversized puffy H&M jacket that I have. And, um, um, Anyway, I got it was way too big. So I ordered this small immediately. You guys are like, they have a small, they have a small. So I ordered a small and fucking sack. I even ordered like one, two day delivery. I paid like an extra, I have to call them and tell them that I didn't. Okay, so annoying. I paid like $40 or something for extra, like one day or two day delivery and it didn't come for a week. So because I didn't think it was going to get from here for my trip, I called my, um, my SA, my a nice friend there at, um, Fendi, who helps me, and he said I can get it for you like tomorrow and courier, courier it to your office. So it was perfect. So he did it, and um, the small came, and it was just as bad. Like it legitimately it was just the problem is it was just too puffy. Like Judy, I was like Judy was there. I was like Judy, just tell me the truth. She's like honestly, she's like I know your vibe. We have totally different vibes. Like I get it. She's like, but it's just it's not like it's we're gonna, it's too much. And I was like I know. So um, unfortunately, I returned it. Okay, and I don't typically. It was a huge. It was like such a fucking headache. I actually take the other one back to Saks. Like I fucking lug it in. Like the other one that the, the from like the store. It didn't even fit in my trunk. It was so big. Like I had. It was. It's massive. The fucking thing is massive. Thank God he also had the courier come to my whatever. He picked it up again. Like so helpful. Um, I love him. Thank you, Hugo. He was really really nice. If you guys need help at Fendi in um, Beverly Hills, go to Hugo. I've been going to him since he worked at the one in Orange County, like at, like really OG. Okay, so let me show you guys anyway. So I was, let me just, is this too long? Are we are we into these long videos? I don't know. If we're not in these long videos anymore, please tell me. So I ended up getting, I was talking to Alex and she's like, just, she's like, so anyway, there was another one I wanted to get. The men's Dior one is absolutely gorgeous. I really like it, but I, I would live, I would buy it in a heartbeat if it was th a little bit thinner. If I didn't, or if I didn't live in LA, I would have like, I would have that jacket, but there's like no fucking point. Like it doesn't get that cold. I, so anyway, I bought this North Face one and um, I really love it. I feel like it's a very, it's a very cool vibe actually. I feel like these are very in right now. I got the X, it was crazy too, you guys. I was like, all right, I was like, casually, I was like, I'm just gonna go to REI today. I'm gonna like pick up a jacket. Not thinking that, I thought they'd have like a plethora of them. I walk up to REI, I'd never been there in my whole life. Like, not my vibe. It was like fucking like, ugh. Um, I'm so sick. And um, I walk upstairs to the women's section. They had one left in an XL, which I wanted because I wanted to be oversized. Anyway, I have this big black puffer in the um, North Face puffer now is what I have. And I wore that, um, you know, it all in, did I talk about this in the beginning? How, it was just like, I, it's really hard. I didn't talk about this in the beginning. First of all, I was sick for two days of the trip. And the last two days of the trip were the days we we're gonna like go, cause we stayed in Lion's Head and then Vale Village, you have to take like a little tram, whatever to get there. And um, so we were gonna go down to like Vale Village, Vail Village like the next day or whatever. Why is it getting fucking dark? Um, 
Anyway, I was so sick. I was like in the hotel room for like literally two days. It was awful. It was so miserable. Oh my God, I can't stand thinking about that hotel room. So um, I didn't really get any pictures. Plus like I like begged my mom to like take pictures of me. And then like, or my brother, but my brother's a fucking ass, asshole. You know how brothers are. They like, will like take ugly pictures of you on purpose. And like, I'm like, Garrett, please just like take a fucking picture of me. Like stop it. Like I really need this fucking photo. And he like still wouldn't do it. I hate him. I love him, you know. Um, so the pictures that I got, thank God, my mom, I was like, listen, they're all blurry. I said, just listen to me, please. Like, I'm not the kind of person to do photo shoots. Like, it, you see these, like, these, like, wannabe, like, Insta-famous people, like, doing photo shoots. It's, like, so cringe. Like, here in LA, you see it all the time. Like, bitch, like, stop. Like, it makes me want to shut down my whole fucking account. Like, when I do, like, when I do, like, a picture... Like, I legitimately go where somewhere where there was, like, no one. Like, I, I cannot, like, it's so embarrassing. Like, I fucking hate doing it. Because, like, it's so cringe. You know what I mean? So, I'm like, mommy, like, please just listen to me. Like, ugh, just, like, literally this will be done in two minutes if you just listen to me. So, anyway, it was really hard to get. I didn't get any, like, pictures. Like, I wanted to shoot. I had, like, really cute outfits. But then I got sick. Anyway, whatever. Shut up. Who cares? Who cares? No one gives a fuck about your outfits. Like, you're so stupid. All right, then the next thing I'll talk about are these um, pullovers. They're from the men's the men's section at the store. I got this one for like um, on sales champion. I really, really love it. And I got this one on sale too, Adidas, which I love too so much. It's so like, it's purple. And I just really, really, really like it. Um, they're pullovers. I would prefer if they were like completely like zip, zipped up in the front so I could like wear something underneath, but they're not. Pullovers are very in right now. I really like these. Plus they were expensive. This one was like almost, I forget. $150, $200, but I got it for like $50. I don't know. Great. Like, great fucking deal. Okay, then I'm going to talk about this really quick. Um, this is that Givenchy. Uh, so, I went to, last minute, when I returned, I went to go return that Fendi jacket at Saks. Um, like, a couple days before I left. And I was like, fuck it. Like, I need to get some, like, cool shit. Like, for, like, to look, like, you know, like, some, like, I want something. Like, I'm not going to have my big fucking parka. I want something. So, I was like, I'm not going to fucking women's set, women's fucking store I don't go to the women's store anymore it's so gross like I hate it like there's only good shit in the men's section there's only good shit in the men's section like the women just are just gross like I hate ugh. you guys know I don't like women okay I like you but I don't generally like women they're fucking evil and like their style sucks okay stop like people who I like are like men so I like. I'm like a man I swear I don't give a shit so um this I got in the men's section too. It was on sale um, at Saks. And it was like 500 or something, but it was like originally like way more. And I wore it skiing every day and I got home and I still wear it. And like, I actually love to wear it on. Like when I was like fat and putting a fanny pack on, I just felt like a fucking beast. But like, I just love it on. I think it's so cute. I put my ice chain on it. Um, it's really easy to open up and close. This is the top handle um, size, in case you guys like what size is that? A uh, pre-made ice chain in the translucent clear. And I love that. So cute. I've been using this. So this is this is definitely like not a waste. I love it. Then I want to quickly show you guys too. I added two more ice colors to my line. This is the frost, and I love it. This is on the jumbo. So perfect. Um, if you want a side, if you want the jumbo, if you want the jumbo like um, top handle, just order the Chanel jumbo maxi reissue size, and you'll get this. This is what you get. And it comes with different hardware because you need different hardware that fit the jumbo maxi or large reissues um so there's that one and then there's my new white out too which i love it i feel like it's very like off-white looking it's very like modern clean and sleek um i feel like it's perfect for summer and like winter white i love it so just like i feel like it's very um like i feel like all of these chains that i do are, they make everything feel like um a limited edition version of the bag like this looks like a limited edition version of the bag got this on it same with these like you know i always get stopped too like i, I told you i stopped it like Chanel, like they're like oh my god that's so fucking brilliant i was like yeah i know i was like p.s i know what you guys are doing i was like I'm getting all fucking pissed um i didn't go in chanel I was like, fuck you guys like someone came out to me i was in the sack and like some girl walked out who worked there i was like yeah okay um so love it that's the winter white so i have the frost now and i have the white and they're both really really nice options the frost is gorgeous white. i can't honestly can't choose i love every color i have like slime i have um like clear ice pink i have strawberry milkshake i have the, the classic glossy black the clear translucent the frost the white out like 
And you know what's funny? People, I, I don't want to say everyone because I'm not sure, but I would say like 90 fucking percent, like legitimately, because I like watch order. I, I like, I, it's another thing about me too. It's like, I'm not like, I'm very hands-on with my business. Like it's my, I, I'm, not, I'm very hands-on. Like I am the hand. Um, I see people like yesterday I saw this girl right in and I, from, a, she used to order from the back when I lit, when I was living in my parents' house. Like, that's how much you guys are still with me. It's fucking insane. I love it. Like, it's so great. But I was going to say, um, people who just, people order one, they'll come back and order, like, ten, a ton more. These are amazing. They are so gorgeous. They are done perfectly. Like, let me show you one more thing. I'm going to go. I want to show you guys these. I'm, like, so proud of it. Okay, so let me just show you. Um, I have this bowl from, like, a thrift store. And it's, like, an 80s or 70s looking, like, casino bowl. And then I got these from the store. Like, I seriously got them from the store. From the same store as the trees, like... I don't know. There's not a name on them. I don't know. Like, don't kill me and stop being a fucking teacher's pet. Like, just stop it. Like, let me have something to myself. Um, and then I was like, oh my God, I saw them and I was like, I need those. Like, those are going in that fucking bowl on my fucking table now. So how fucking sick is this? Like, I just see this and I want to like die. I put like my mushroom lamp here. I have like my bougie candles. I have my like two candelabras with like, they're just like sick. I just love my vibe right now. Like my house, like so seventies. Um, and it's just very extra. So I love it. Okay. Um, that's that. They're super high gloss. Um, and like extra, like fucking like gold brick, you know, gold, a, a gold bar. Okay. And that's it. Am I done? I think we're done. Did I miss anything? Probably. Um, all right. I'm going to go before this takes forever. All right. I love you guys so much. Okay. Bye. Don't miss out on stocking stuffers. They're fucking sick. Okay. And the light lipo leggings, if you want them as they are, um, order them now before my new versions come out. Okay?